Welcome to your lesson to help you improve your U.S. English pronunciation. Do you have trouble sounding out English words? You're in the right place. Hello, I'm Professor Wynn, a certified English instructor for more than a decade now, helping students to use English better to achieve their career goals. Today, you and I cover 13 of the most mispronounced words in U.S. English. I'm so glad you want to speak English better. So, let's get started. Word number one, February. Make sure you pronounce both R's. February. Example, Jill's birthday is in February. Word number two. Say Antarctic, not Antarctic. Remember the C in the middle. Example, Zvin explored the Antarctic last winter. Word number three. Say clothes or clothes with only one syllable. The E is silent and the S makes a long Z sound. Example. Shelly ironed her clothes for the interview tomorrow. Word number four. Be sure to say asterisk, not asterisk. Example, you need an asterisk in your bibliography. Number five. Be sure to say definitely, not definitely. Example, Rosa definitely needs to study more for school. Word number six. Make sure to say brewery, not brewery. Example, Mr. Jones just opened a brewery, a beer making bar downtown. I hope you're enjoying this video. Why not take your English pronunciation to a higher level? Speak better natural English after only eight pronunciation lessons. You get two videos that take you step by step in my e-course Top 8 Secrets to Better English Pronunciation, where you can become more confident in speaking English whether you're presenting the TOEFL, IELTS, or TOEIC exam, or you just need to speak at ease with clients and colleagues in English. So. Enroll today in my video e-course, Top 8 Secrets to Better English Pronunciation. Visit bit.ly slash 8topsp to get started. That's bit dot l-y slash 8, the number 8 that is, T-O-P-S-P. Thanks, and I'll see you soon in class. Now, let's get back to are 13 most mispronounced words in U.S. English. At number seven, library. Library? Yeah, don't say library. Say library. Example, you can now check out movies and audiobooks from the library online. Word number eight. Say salmon, not salmon. The L is silent. Beware of the silent letters. Example. Salmon swim upstream to reproduce. Word number nine. Say athlete, not athlete. There is no A in the middle. Example. Good athletes train every day for the marathon. Word number ten. Wednesday. Don't say Wednesday. Be sure to say Wednesday. Example. My French test was postponed to Wednesday. Word number 11. Say nuclear, not nuclear. Nuclear? No. Say nuclear. Example. All nuclear tests are prohibited by the treaty. Word number 12. Comfortable. Say comfortable, not comfortable. The O-R is silent. Example. Here's another pillow 
to make you feel more comfortable. And last but not least, number 13, say itinerary, not itinerary. Example, Shaquille's itinerary takes him to Bogota and Lima. Now, let's recap 13 of the most mispronounced words in English. Number one, February. Number two, Antarctic. Number three, clothes or clothes. Number four, asterisk. Number five, definitely. Number six, brewery. Number seven, library. Number eight, salmon. Number nine, athlete. Number 10, Wednesday. Number 11, nuclear. Number 12, comfortable. And number 13, itinerary. Thanks for improving your U.S. English pronunciation with me today. You now know how to say these 13 often mispronounced words. Why not continue to improve your U.S. English with my video e-course, Eight Top Secrets to Better English Pronunciation. You and I go over fundamental lessons so you can fine-tune your pronunciation. You learn not only how to say the words, but why you say the words the way you do. That helps you broaden your knowledge of spoken English, plus gives you the confidence to speak in many different situations. If you plan to present the IELTS, TOEFL, or TOEIC exam, you should enroll in eight top secrets to English pronunciation so you're more prepared for a higher score on exam day. Visit bit.ly slash the number eight T-O-P-S-P to enroll. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash the number eight T-O-P-S-P. Whatever you decide, Continue to practice and sharpen your English skills. I'm Professor Wynn. Happy English studies.